call this in for the day. And so let me uh, encourage our audience to tune in again next week to another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning. Abolishing modern slavery in Tennessee's penal system. Mm. Abolishing modern slavery code penal system in Tennessee. There's a note immediately when I talk about uh, this mm -hmm. something that we indicate and identify as modern slavery, yeah. and that's the penal system. Yeah. And is that correct? I mean, is that what we're. What we're Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is abolishing modern slavery, the penal system in Tennessee. And we're fortunate to have with us to talk about how modern slavery in Tennessee might be abolished, Pastor Kay Walker and uh, Reverend Jeannie Alexander. And of course, Pastor Walker, let me welcome you and uh, Reverend Alexander to the show this morning and to tell both of you how delighted we are to have you with us this morning and to know that both of you have some very, very important information dealing with some of the issues in the state of Tennessee. And today we're going to talk about uh, abolishing modern slavery. And I think we've already explained uh, that we're dealing with the penal system. But before we get into that, Pastor, let's have you to give us some information about your background, your education, and some of the things that were important in your life and then uh, Reverend Alexander will give us some additional information. And so by that time, we should be out of this first segment. And then we can go into the second segment, talking about the penal system in the state of Tennessee. All right. Well, Dr. Haney, I'm Pastor Kevin L. Walken. First of all, thank you for allowing us the opportunity once again to come on your show and talk about some information that, you know, very relevant, very pertinent information I think everybody needs to know about. I'm a native Nashvilleian. I went to the public school. Yep. 
really did hit. I don't know. We did mic checks too. Yeah, I mean, I didn't move or anything. Well, they we're happen. not live. <laughs> wow. Is it? All right, we should be good to go now. Wow. I'm trying to figure out how this could happen. Well, well is it still on? It yeah. was off. The it was the button was in the off position. Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is abolishing modern slavery, the penal system in Tennessee. And we're fortunate to have with us to talk about efforts to abolish modern slavery in the penal system in Tennessee, Pastor Kay Walker and uh, Reverend Jeannie Alexander. And Pastor Walker, I think that both you and uh, Reverend Alexander have been with us before. And let's start off this show by having the two of you give us some information in reference to your background, your education, and some of the things that were important in terms of uh, bringing you to us this morning. And then by that time, we should be out of the first segment, and then we'll get into efforts to abolish modern slavery in uh, the penal system in the state of Tennessee. Let's do it from that perspective. Yes, sir. Well, thanks again, Dr. Haney. I'm Pastor Kelvin L. Walker, Navy Nashville. Uh, I want to thank you uh, for been on the battlefield, you've been on the wall for quite some time and allowing us opportunities to come on and talk about issues, you know, not only myself, but many, many others on your show talk about a lot of issues that's relevant and pertinent to us as a society, things that we need to know. Uh, as I said, I'm a native Nashvilleian, born here in Nashville, Tennessee, went to the public, public school system up until a point. Uh, I made it to right at the 10th grade, my first uh, couple of weeks into the 10th grade, I got put out of all the school system in the state, in, in, in Tennessee. Uh, and from there, I, uh, I went to the Navy. I got, got involved in some trouble, ended up in the Navy. Uh, did a short period of time in the Navy. Got out of the Navy, went through OIC, Opportunities Industrialization Center, got a GED uh, uh, there through a six month program. From there, I did a few studies at Tennessee State University back in 75, 76. Uh, strung out on drugs all during the time I was in the military and uh, even up before then and then uh, in college, it, it kind of wrecked my college career at that point. Ended up in the state, incarcerated in state prison system. Spent five years of my life incarcerated. <clears throat> uh, I was a criminal. So I, I was supposed to be there when I was there. Uh, but, uh, and, and I don't have a degree in, a, in anything, but I have so many different life experiences, and especially things that will bring me to this stage today to share with you and, and your audience uh, what's, what I believe to be important information. Very good. Uh, Reverend Alexander, J.D. Alexander, let's uh, give you an opportunity to tell our audience uh, something about yourself. Sure. Well, Dr. Haney, it's always a pleasure to be here with you and Pastor Walker. Um, I really appreciate this. My background in a nutshell is that I am an attorney and a minister, so it's double trouble. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, it's interesting. What I never expected to have happen in my life was to work in a prison. Um, but I did, you know, I left the practice of law in order to pursue theology and um, through circumstances and volunteering, I found myself as the head institutional chaplain at a men's maximum security prison here in Nashville, Riverbend. And that experience, talk about education, you hmm. know, there's no education like being on the inside of a yeah. prison for years. Um, it really teaches you what you don't know. and. You know, what it taught me was that an approach to reform or to improving a system that is always from the top down and from the outside looking in is an approach that's destined in some ways to fail. So it was working with families of prisoners and the people on the inside. 